over 50,000 years ago, in a time when the world was filled with giants. Australia was ruled by a predator unlike anything we know today, armed with razor-sharp teeth, venomous saliva, and the power to take down creatures as large as cars. This was a hunter that inspired fear in all who crossed its path. This is the story of Megalenia Prisca, the largest terrestrial lizard to have ever existed. But how did it rise to power? What led to its mysterious extinction? And could it still be lurking in Australia's wilderness today? Stay tuned as we uncover the thrilling story of Megalenia. To understand Megalenia, we first need to go back to the Pleistocene Epoch, an era spanning from 2.6 million to about 10,000 years ago. During this time, Australia was a land of giants, home to what scientists call the Megafaunal Assemblage. These were massive animals that roamed the continent in an age before human dominance. Imagine towering kangaroos that could leap incredible distances, giant wombats the size of SUVs, and fierce predators like the marsupial lion. But towering above them all as the apex predator was Megalania, a giant monitor lizard that dwarfed even today's Komodo dragon. The story of Megalania begins in 1859 when Sir Richard Owen, a pioneering paleontologist, first described its fossil remains. Among a collection of marsupial bones from a tributary of the Condamine River in eastern Australia, Owen identified three massive vertebrae that belonged to a creature unlike anything seen before. Owen named the animal as Megalenia prisca, which he interpreted as ancient great Romer. However, a common mistranslation of his name as ancient giant butcher became widespread, adding a sinister aura to its already terrifying reputation. How big was Megalenia? The truth is, scientists can only estimate its size because no complete skeleton has ever been found. Early studies suggested it could grow up to 23 feet long and weigh over 1,300 pounds. More recent research, however, estimates that most individuals measured between 10 to 15 feet, with some exceptional specimens reaching 20 feet in length. But whether it was 15 or 23 feet long, Megalania was the largest terrestrial lizard to ever exist. Its body was built for strength, with heavily muscled limbs, a long powerful tail for balance, and a skull full of serrated blade-like teeth. Megalenia wasn't just a giant, it was a deadly predator. Scientists believe it had a similar hunting style to its closest living relative, the Komodo dragon. Like its modern cousin, Megalenia may have had venom glands in its jaws, delivering a toxic cocktail that caused blood loss, lowered blood pressure and sent its prey into shock. With a single venomous bite, Megalenia could bring down prey many times its size, from massive marsupials to unwary birds and reptiles. Its speed, estimated at around 10 km per hour, made it a formidable ambush predator. Megalenia thrived in Australia's woodlands, grasslands and forests. It hunted alongside other apex predators, such as the marsupial lion, Thylacoleo carnifex, and Quincana, a terrestrial crocodile that grew up to 20 feet long. Together, these predators shaped the bounds of life in prehistoric Australia. But as dominant as Megalenia was, its reign came to an end around 50,000 years ago, a time that coincided with the arrival of the first humans in Australia. So, what happened to Megalenia? The youngest fossils date back to around 50,000 years ago. Many scientists believe its extinction was caused by a combination of climate change and human activity. As humans settled Australia, they likely competed with Megalenia for prey. Some researchers even suggest that early Aboriginal Australians may have hunted the giant lizard leading to its decline. Climate change may have also played a role, reducing the availability of water and food for this massive predator. 
but is Megalenia truly extinct? Aboriginal legends speak of a fearsome creature called the Hawi, a giant lizard that terrorized ancient communities. Even today, stories persist of large lizard-like creatures sighted in Australia's remote regions. Could these be remnants of a population that survived extinction? While no concrete evidence has been found, the possibility of Megalania's survival continues to capture imaginations. Could these prehistoric predators still be hiding in the wild, waiting to be rediscovered? Today, Megalania remains a symbol of Austria's prehistoric past, a reminder of the incredible giants that once roamed the land. Its story is a testament to the power and diversity of life on Earth, and its fossils continue to inspire scientists and storytellers alike. What do you think? Could Megalenia still be out there? Or is it truly a ghost of the past? Let us know your theories in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more prehistoric mysteries and incredible stories from the ancient world. Thanks for watching.